The rare phenomenon that sent hordes of Americans scrambling for tinted glasses and an open view. It's been 99 years since a total solar eclipse swept from coast to coast in the U.S. We join millions flocking to the path of totality to capture the mystique and celebration of this long-awaited event. Here's ABC's Matt Gutman. A little more. There it is. The celestial dance didn't disappoint. The great American eclipse of 2017 gracing city after city. Oh my God! An hour and a half of cosmic wonder that captured the nation. So happy. So happy I could cry. Oh, there we go, there we go. The sun is coming back. It's being regurgitated. Oh, and there's a star in the sky that we can see. Oh, beautiful. Zooming along a 70-mile-wide ribbon of the country, it's called the Path of Totality. Areas where 100% of the sun was eclipsed by the moon, bathing everything in total blackness. It is just absolutely spectacular. Look how dark it is, how quiet it is. The air is still. This is like being in the eye of a hurricane. A total solar eclipse can only occur during a new moon when the moon moves between the Earth and the sun, casting a direct shadow on the Earth. It happens somewhere on Earth about twice every three years, but most often it happens on an ocean. That's why today's event was so significant. It was the first one to go all the way across the continental U.S. in 38 years. This is an ABC News special, live coverage of the solar eclipse. The date, February 26, 1979. At the ABC News desk, the venerable Frank Reynolds. Good morning. This is indeed a special events broadcast of a genuine special event. The last total eclipse of the sun over the continent this century. Onlookers back then peering through what was then considered protective eyewear. Not until August 21st, 2017, will another eclipse be visible from North America. That's 38 years from now. Our ABC News coverage today began in Lincoln Beach, Oregon. It is so spooky right now, right? The temperature is dropping, the excitement is growing here. We've just gone completely dark. We have reached totality here on the Oregon coastline. A total eclipse of the sun. In the small town of Madras, Oregon, the population ballooning nearly 1,500 percent, drawing crowds of well over 100,000 people. Spectators and journalists alike gobsmacked. I'm almost speechless. The crowd here is absolutely ecstatic. I'm going to have our cameraman, Glenn, turn down the lights. You actually get a sense of how... Turn it off, Glenn. Let's see how dark it really is. It's pitch black here. This is the most incredible thing I've ever seen. For so many, this will happen only once in their lifetime. Families driving far and wide to witness history. I mean, you guys drove nine hours. You know, this is the second most beautiful thing I've seen in my life. Is that the first? Well, I was thinking this one here, you know. But. <laughs> the darkness marching eastward, averaging at more than 1,200 miles per hour. Scientists using every precious moment to study the sun's outer atmosphere. Because of the contrast between the darkness of the sky and that one spot of sun, you get a really bright region with a nice ring around the moon, so it looks just like a diamond ring. Once the diamond ring was covered, then the corona emerged. Across the path of totality, hotel rooms fully booked. This is Carhenge, just outside Alliance, Nebraska, a couple hundred miles from the nearest airport, middle of nowhere and a lot of people showed up because it is slap bang in the middle of the path of totality. We've got nearly two minutes and 30 seconds here. Some describing the eclipse as otherworldly, even extraterrestrial. Here in Cali, Kentucky, they had a bit of a cosmic coincidence because not only was it the eclipse today, this was the 62nd anniversary of a reported alien invasion that happened back just about 200, 300 yards from here. Celebrities watching along and posting their experiences on social media. Lady Gaga to Bill Gates. Sarah Jessica Parker not so expertly narrating her experience. Oh my God. The president, first lady, and son Baron also enjoying the view through their eclipse glasses. A dream is something on board a Royal Caribbean cruise, Bonnie Tyler treating eclipse viewers to a total eclipse of the heart experience with her classic ballad. Nothing I can say, a total eclipse of the heart. Yeah, it was really awesome. With the eclipse happening, performing this iconic song with a legend. Yeah! Dream yeah! Let's do it in 99 years. In heaven. 
In the Music City, the sky went dark, the streets lit up. Gareth, we've been watching everybody else. You came all the way from... Came all the way from the UK to come and see this uh, event. How are you feeling right now? Amazing. It's, it's like, I can't believe it. It's a religious yeah. experience. Back in Oregon, the cosmic event even made a few moonstruck. Now we're getting the diamond ring effect right now. The sun is slowly being taken out of the shadow. That diamond ring in the sky transforming to one on her finger. Just moments after the totality, question asked and answered with a yes. And then that kiss. You literally you had no idea. No this was idea. Coming. And Ben. Were you able to focus on the eclipse knowing that right after the eclipse you had the biggest question in your life to ask someone? I was actually really into the eclipse. The eclipse was amazing. <laughs> but then once it was over, I did my brain switch and I started thinking about when am I going to do this? <laughs> like, yeah, it, was, it got a little nerve wracking. We were both what, shaking. Were you? Yes, we were both shaking. We were both crying. From a proposal to an outright wedding. While tens of millions of Americans looked up at the sky, who gives this woman to be wed? To in St. Joseph, Missouri, right in the eclipse's path of totality. On this very special day, not only will we get to say we witnessed one of the great cosmological events in almost a century. <laughs> All eyes were on Samantha Adams and Cameron Kuhn. Samantha has been planning this with all the glee of a child who once dreamt of becoming an astronaut. I remember in third grade specifically, I just went from a little kid in a classroom to like space, space, space. So when Cameron proposed last year, she knew today would be the day. Every guest given those special eclipse viewing glasses, the decorations, a no-brainer. Heavenly touches with a spacey motif. It should look really cool braided. Mr. and Mrs. Cameron and Samantha Kuhn. Newly married. Couldn't be happier right now. And despite the cloud cover, Samantha and Cameron held hands as totality approached. 20 seconds. And darkness descended. The couple already planning for the next total eclipse, which will be visible in certain parts of America in 2024. As for the great American eclipse of 2017, ending in Charleston, South Carolina before going out to sea. And as Frank Reynolds promised all those years ago, we were there through it all. May the shadow of the moon fall on a world at peace. And ABC News, of course, will bring you a complete report on that next eclipse 38 years from now. It was World News Tonight anchor Frank Reynolds in 1979 promising we'd be back to bring you this event. We certainly didn't know we'd be the ones to keep his promise but we've been honored to share this great American eclipse with all of you at home. Now America looks forward to the next great nationwide eclipse. Hopefully, I'll see you there in 2045. For Nightline, I'm Matt Gutman in Madras, Oregon. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.